Hello. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something called photo coaching, where I take a photograph and look at various aspects of it and see what we can learn from it. So if that's of interest, stay tuned. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, this is what I'm calling a photo coaching session. Basically, I had this idea that we could take a photograph and analyze it so that we could learn from it. Now, you'll notice that the photograph is blurred, and that's because I want to draw your attention to certain aspects in control. I want to do that slowly. Now, the photograph we have here is Nicole David, who's practicing. So that's the, the general situation. So let's start with her head. Look at her eyes. Look at the intensity with which she is focused on that ball. Nothing else matters. Lots of things could be happening outside of the court or even on, in the court, but she is totally focused on that ball. And that is a really important thing to do. Become totally focused on the ball, especially when you're about to hit it. Not so much when your opponent's about to hit it. I talked about that before, about you know coming out of uh, focus and inner focus. But when you're about to hit it, focus on that ball. She could probably see the dots moving. They'll be spinning and she can see those. So that's a really, really important thing. The next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about her left arm and specifically how it's almost like a mirror of her right arm. Look how much underneath uh, her right arm it is. It's balancing her. It's putting her almost like a spring. She's ready to unspring herself and hit the ball. Now, on the backhand, this is very important because what will happen is as you swing, you will have momentum moving. And if you can balance that momentum, you're more likely to hit the ball cleanly, more likely to hit it where you want to and remain in control of your body afterwards. And then you can move out. You can use the momentum if you want to, to move away from the shot, but instead of it controlling you, you control it. So put your arm underneath. Now, I've already mentioned that in a video uh, which I entitled, you know, the five common mistakes made by uh, squash players on your backhand. And this is a, like a perfect example of that. The next thing I want to talk about is her wrist position. Notice that her wrist position is almost at 90 degrees. Not that 90 degrees is the perfect, but by cocking your wrist, this is what we call cocking your wrist, by cocking your wrist at 90 degrees, you're less likely to have any movement in it and you're less likely to hit the ball incorrectly. Now, she has cocked her wrist in preparation for hitting this ball. The left hand is underneath, so the right arm can now drop down and start to make it swing. This is the most compact way of hitting the ball, but with power. Tennis players have bigger swings because they don't need to worry about the back wall. Squash players do. So we need to make our swing compact and very powerful. Now, if we were to be able to watch a squash match directly from the top, we would be able to almost put like a, a point in the middle of a, a good player's head and you will watch everything turn from that point. But the head wouldn't move, but that would be the center of the point. It's a circular type motion. The next thing I want to talk about is her shoulders. Notice how far they are turned. Almost all of her back at least the upper part of the back, is facing the front wall. This is the rotation, part of the point that I mentioned earlier. This movement gives you huge amount of power. Imagine hitting the ball without moving your shoulders. You could hit it, you could hit it cleanly, and you could hit it accurately. But would you get much power? No, because the rotation from the uh, midriff and your hips are what give you power. The next thing I want to focus on um, with Nicole is her knees and her, the position of her feet. Notice that her knees are almost parallel to the wall. And what that means is that she's had enough time to move to in, into the corner and give herself a very stable position. Her hips are bent, her knees are bent. She's solidly on the ground waiting to swing. Now, once she's hit it, her right leg will move away and she will be moving back to the tee. Okay, now I'm going to unblur the whole photograph. There we go. 
and she's playing with a practice partner or a hitting coach. I don't know who this person is, I apologize. But what you'll notice is that this person is in a very relaxed position. He's watching the ball, which is great. He's watching that corner. He's got his shoulders turned quite a lot, which leads me to believe that they're doing like a parallel along the wall type of exercise. But he's in a relaxed position. He's got his racket up, so he's ready to respond. Yes. We could say that he needs to be in this position with his head turned, but you know, when you're practicing, you know, this is how it works. So let's summarize. Focus, she's focused on the ball. She's balanced both with her arms and her hips and her knees. And her wrist is ready to draw her arm is ready to drop down and use a very small swing to make contact with the ball and get get it back down the wall, I'm, I'm a guessing from this situation, and then get back onto the tee as quickly as possible. And those things are the things that you should be doing. Those are the things that you should be focusing on. And I've been talking a lot recently about watching the ball hit the strings. And this picture, man, she is so focused on that ball. It's a wonderful image. So there we go. So that was the first photo coaching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you benefited from it. If you are um, uh, a photographer, and you've got some images that you'd like me to use, or you're a player and you've seen some images, send me an e uh, a link or send me an email, and I'll try to get permission to use that photograph, and I can use them in future um, videos. So that's it for today. And as it says right down the bottom, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya.